Horses run across the prairie Eagles sail upon the wind Pilots howl at the moonlight We share the earth with them Hi, my name is Jennifer Correa and I am the owner and manager of our ranch here in Palmer, Texas. And I, we raise quarter horses. We have several Palomino. We show the Palomino quarter horse shows here in Texas and have gone to the world show uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The horse we're talking about today is a 2001 Bay Tobiano paint. Um, he's a sweet horse. I've owned him since he was five months old. And he was one of the first horses that we bought here on our ranch. We had several paints, and now we've kind of moved into the quarter horses. But he's one that had touched my heart um, when he got hurt as a yearling. But he was out in the pasture, and he got tangled up in some twine, and it cut through his back hoof, and literally cut off about a third of his hoof. Um, we rushed him to the vet, of course, and they said they couldn't, they thought they could kind of pull it back together with some wire or something like that, but it wasn't, it was too far cut through. So they said, we just have to cut it off or put it down. And so at that point, I couldn't put them down. I just decided that we'd spend the money on saving them. And everybody I spoke to said, no, put them down. He'll never be rideable. He'll never have a decent life. And he has. He's, it's 2008. It took about a year for that foot to heal. Um, he was about a year late, uh, when it happened. And then it took another year for him to heal. And then after that, we rode him. We rode him in parades. You know, he wasn't anything that we could show. But he could get around and walk, and I rode him and started him under saddle and just walked and jogged him, and he's loped out in the pasture. And um, it wasn't until last year that uh, he got real bad and had an abscess in his foot. And that's how this started out, is, is an abscess. And he, it caused, I guess, several fractures in his foot. And so in November, when I took him to the vet, they said, you know, he, he's not going to make it. He's got several fractures in his foot. They showed me the x-ray, and the best thing now would be to put him down. He's lived a good life. You've tried as best you can. In fact, I saw him in November, and that back leg was swollen. Right. Huge. It was all the way up from the, from the hoof to the hip. Mm -hmm. And that's what they were telling you was the bone infection. Mm -hmm. There was nothing so, you could do. Yeah. Once mm -hmm. a horse has a bone infection, that's it. And now the rise. Yes, and major arthritis in the foot because of the deformed foot. And that, the day that I first saw the horse in November, you had actually told me that you'd already picked out a very spot. Right. And it was like the next day that he was right. going to put down. That's right. And he was on like a lot of you yes. at the time. He was, too. yes. Yeah. And so after a few days of giving them the equipride, pride, and, and I don't know if it was a few days or maybe a week or so, but he didn't, he was walking on it at least a little bit. He wasn't just holding it up in the air like that. So that's why I thought, okay, we'll give this a chance and see what it can do. And, and now he's, he's back to where he was after the surgery where he can walk on it. The dent in his hoof is right here where it, it was all cut off right here. And then this is this is hoof, but the shoer put some something on there to help him get around a little better. But his foot is oh, his foot isn't swollen like it was. I mean this is just it's it's all down. And that's been when did he start it on in November? November started. was when they were gonna put him down. Four months. And the bone infection was so bad yeah. in his foot, 
and he started getting sores because he lay down and he'd get sores. He had sores on his hocks right here and here. And also when he lay down, and I can see under here, bad infection in his body, yeah. that that's another reason to put him down because he's yeah. not going to get better. And, you know, that was, you know, besides from the foot having all the fractures in it, yeah. the bone and the amount of infection that was in his body, and those, you know, have all healed up. I was wanting to see how he handles the weight. Yeah, the shoe was able to sh trim him. It's fine. Wow. Isn't that amazing? But he had sores all. He wouldn't have done that. You said he couldn't even put his foot down. Oh, right? no. Oh, yeah. No. No, he he, he, he was so bad, he couldn't even just hold it up. And when he'd walk, he'd just hobble. Oh, I mean, yeah. not even put any weight on it to move. He'd just jump. Those sores are gone. And I'm, I'm thinking about how bad they were mm -hmm. and thinking how cruel it was. And, of course, we could have put them down because it was it was raining and muddy and we couldn't dig the hole and I didn't want to put it down until it was dry. So he would already been gone then if it was raining. Right.